Hello and welcome to another FittingSites.com screencast tutorial. In this video we're going to cover the custom menu function of WordPress and in this instance for our website what we're going to do is we're going to create what's called a secondary menu and use a widget to add that menu to the sidebar of our website. And this is a problem that a lot of websites have as they continue to grow larger is that you can see here that on our site we have several tabs. We have about nine tabs total and while we do have some room here at the end to add some more, uh, there's a time when perhaps you want to add some links to your site to other pages and other bits of content that you have but maybe they're just not quite important enough to put in the top level in the main navigation of the website and for this we actually have a really simple solution for that and what we're going to do is we're going to put a menu here in the sidebar basically a list of links that will allow visitors to go to extra content we have on our site so starting with our dashboard the first thing we need to do is we need to go to the appearance section of the dashboard and click on menus to load up our custom menus and here you see we already have a menu called main which you can see right up here and that is a menu that we created in another tutorial we did on custom menus and what we're going to do is we're going to create a second menu and we're just going to go ahead and click on this plus sign here to create our new menu and the only thing that you need to do now is give it a name and we're going to call it sidebar menu Now, once we've created our menu, we have nothing in it at this point. But if we look over here on the left-hand side, under Pages, we can see our most recent pages. And in this instance, we have four new pages that we've created that we'd like to add to the sidebar of our site. So simply by putting a checkbox next to those pages, we click on the Add to Menu button. And as we scroll up, we see that those have been added to our sidebar menu that we created. Now, of course, this gives us the opportunity to drag and drop if we want to perhaps rearrange our items here on the page to change their order a little bit. And I'm pretty happy with that order right there. And now we click on Save Menu. And once our menu has been saved, we go to the Widget section of the dashboard and click on it. And here on the widget section of our dashboard, we see that we have a widget here called Custom Menu. And just as you'd expect, this allows us to put a menu in a widget area of our website. So all we need to do is just take this and drag it over into our primary widget area and place it where we want it. We want to put it pretty high up, but perhaps below the welcome text. and we're going to call this More Cupcake Creations. Now once we've given the widget a title, all we need to do is select the menu that we want to use. And by clicking on this drop-down, we can see that we have two choices. We have our main menu and we have our sidebar menu. So by clicking on sidebar menu and then clicking on the Save button to save our changes, if we now click on the name of the site in our dashboard to go to the actual home page of the site, here we can see just below our introduction we now have a new list of links and these are links that go to pages on our website and just as simple as that here we have one for a charity event so just as simple as that we have an ability to add more pages to our site that are secondary in nature but still have a way to put them around in the sidebar of our site so that visitors know that it's there and can access that content if they want. So I hope this has helped you to add some more links to your sidebar. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.